Welcome to another Scottish Watches video. We have got Pietro from the Limited Edition on the line and on the table in front of us we have an amazing selection of Linda Werdlin watches. I don't know what these ones are called, how much they cost or anything at all. So that's why we've got an expert on the line and how are you getting on today Pietro? Yes, it's a bit of a um, quirky selection here of three uh, very different, in a way, timepieces uh, developed by Linda Vedelin, which is Bricky. I'll, uh, I'll take a risk here and I'll say that uh, Linda Vedelin is currently probably my favorite sports independent watchmaker. So the first one to the left is a limited edition of 99 pieces called the Arctis. Arctis is a Danish word. And in this specific case, it showcases a chronograph inspired by the north, you know, the ice in the north uh, of our continent. Of course, for those that know, um, Linda Verdelin is a Danish-based brand, very much based in London as well. But the concept, the design has very strong uh, Danish history. Uh, through the eyes and the talent of the initial designer, which was a gentleman called Morten Linde, with the uh, development skills and um, entrepreneurship uh, drive given by Jorn Verdelin, has become, the brand has become one of the, uh, as I said, one of the favorite in terms of sports, uh, sports watches. Gorgeous thing about uh, Linde Verdelin timepieces is that they are all tested out in the wild, and normally, because both Morten Linde and Johan Verdelin have been and still are uh, big, uh, big adventurers and explorers, although Morten Linde is not involved with the brand anymore and uh, Johan has now been left to drive the company forward, but both uh, conceived and developed the brand based on their own passion for exploration and adventure. And uh, in those days, we're talking 15 years ago, they didn't feel there was a sports brand that uh, particularly ticked all the boxes in terms of what is needed out there in the extremes. They developed timepieces that are fit to face the extremes. The one you have now, you're handling now, for example, is really, really particular for the architecture of the case itself, which is in stainless steel, which has been sat and finished. And as you can as you can see, the the case has been made lighter by a technique of cutaways of uh, material that was not needed in the case itself. So you have these very interesting angles and uh, and very interesting um, uh, hollows that uh, allow the case to be both visually visually architectural, if you like, and at the same time also lighter compared to what a plain, solid stainless steel case would have been. I know you sell watches that are unworn, but these watches here are demo pieces from the brand. We can actually do some wrist shots later on as well. How amazing. Absolutely. For a change. Yeah, for yes. a change. In terms of the case back, this particular timepiece is sporting the LW03, which is a caliber that has been uh, developed in collaboration with Concepto. Concepto is one of those uh, uh, highly specialized Swiss um, manufacturers that specialize in movements only. And of course, Linda Verdelin developed have, have developed with them a bespoke version of uh, one of their uh, chronograph calibers to adapt it to their own uh, their own needs as you can see this theme of hollows and uh, you know and cutaways continues even on the rotor and this is uh, to create contrast and to create a certain uh, harmony between the design of the case the design of the case back and of course the design of the dial itself right okay as promised here's a, a kind of wrist shot obviously i'm wearing black so that you can see what's going on and I haven't adjusted this properly because as much as we can wear this and we can adjust it a little bit there is a cutaway because it's a rubber strap so to get it to the ideal fitment you would then remove a part of the rubber on the back here uh, to enable you to get a better fit but no it is fantastic I had it out in the sun earlier looked amazing right okay we've had the white one now it's time for the black one tell us the differences between the one we've just seen and this one here absolutely taking the speed of speed as the name of the family of chronographs at linda verdelins this is an incredible edition in carbon uh, developed in a limited number of 99 pieces only the case that you see there is actually one single piece of forged carbon one single ingot 
robot that has been uh, cut away in, uh, in, in different parts, of course, to create the same angular architecture shape that we were describing on the Arctis uh, timepiece. So really, really impressive indeed, because you can see all the veins, the lines of the cut forged carbon on uh, either side of the case and on the front as well. So tell me about what we're seeing here through the dial because there's a lot of gold colored things going on. The dial is accentuating even more that 3D effect that the speedo speed normally offers where the dial, you know, the counter, the chronograph counter indication is actually, uh, uh, how can I say, a game of uh, overlapping uh, different layers onto each other. So you can see at the base there is a, a fantastic skeletonization of the movement is itself that already plays with different layers of titanium parts and gold parts. On top of that, the green rings connected to the chronograph have been uh, have been uh, um, applied on top of the dial itself, creating basically a three layers yeah. surface which uh, really gives a lot of depth and a lot of, um, I find it really, really rich when you look at the inside of the dial. I uh, don't know if you, if you agree, Ricky. Yeah, this one stands out. Now it's time to ask that all-important question, how much? You struggle to believe, but with that work on the case, with that work on the movement, again, developed in collaboration with Conceptor, so it's a bespoke, customized uh, uh, development, we are at 12,000 pounds excluding VAT, uh, Ricky and I really struggle to find a similar value prop proposition on the market uh, these days. This is forged carbon? This is forged carbon and it's one single ingot. Because there's quite a few watch companies now doing this, I believe Doxa have got a limited edition piece, I think it was uh, forged carbon, the one we saw last year, and Zenith do limited edition pieces and short run pieces and forged carbon and they are drastically more expensive and more attainable. There's a lot of them around, whereas this is something a little bit special. You won't be seeing this on any, well, you will be out and about at the moment, but if you were at a red bar meet, if you were out in the street, if you were at something, you probably wouldn't see one of these guys for, for that kind of money, for what you're getting. That is absolutely incredible. For Linda Verdelin, it was the best way to get the lightest case they could ever make. And actually, the part of the case you see there is 3.8 grams, uh, just the, the part that composes the, ca the case itself. So the watch itself is very, very light. And why? Because, again, as Linda Verdelin, they test all their pieces in the, in the wild and in the extremes of uh, adventurous situations. They needed to experiment with something really, really light. And that was their technical solution. But the most and the big part of the value is also the bespoke uh, movement that has been developed for the purpose, which is also in titanium to grant that lightness that we are talking about here difficult to see because you've obviously got the curling of the strap which is trying its best to obfuscate the movement there but you can just see through and it is a lovely looking movement I love the the rotor oh, yeah. the winding direction shown there the different colored wheels and then the bridging yeah. you know we call linda verdelin a brand but this is a, a watchmaker uh, driven by you know a gentleman like Jon verdelin who actually does the things that he talks about in his advertising for his brand. So these pieces have been optimized to be able to be fit to those situations of uh, exploration and mm -hmm. the extremes of the uh, uh, wilderness, if you like. And again, since these aren't your pieces, these aren't unworn, they're test ones, that's why sometimes you've got a bit of dust in them. They've got little scratches and scuffs because they've been around the world. But I'm able to actually do proper wrist rolls and wrist shots because they are not for sale, these ones. The ones that people will be able to get a hold of will be brand new, untouched by human hands. And what I noticed, as you can see here, is you can see right through the watch. Not to the extent on some kind of dressier pieces where you see all the skin and the hairs, but you can see all the way through. And lastly but not least, we have this little guy. Tell us all about it, Pietro. Yes, yeah, so the Speedolite, it's another family within uh, the collection at Linda Verdelin's. And these, as you can notice, he's a, a streamlined version of the Speedo Speed without the chronograph. So we get into a, an even lighter kind of concept where the theme of skeletonization is really king. So on either side, uh, right and left, north and south, you can see that there has been an incredible work on the design of the case to make it as light as possible, as well as the use of the material, which is titanium in this case, for both the case and the movement itself. So this, when it was launched, it was the lightest 
Linda Verdelin ever. I think you can feel it in your hands, uh, Ricky. No, I can't feel it in my hands. <laughs> in this case, the LW07 uh, design customized by Linda Verdelin in collaboration with Concepto is, is not visible from the case back, but it's visible entirely from the uh, uh, from the front, from the dial itself, because without the chronograph module, you can really appreciate all the gearing and the components of the movement itself. And as you can see, to create these 3D effects, very deep vision through the dial, a lot of uh, parts have been uh, streamed to the bare minimum as well. Yeah. So it makes for a nice skeletonization, but not one of those extreme skeletonization where you can actually appreciate more the hair on the wrist rather than uh, the movement itself. Case size is 44 millimeters again. It sports power, a power reserve of 42 hours. The titanium used actually is titanium grade 5 which makes for the best quality uh, available and the water resistance is 100 meters so a very very cool linda verdelin as well one little detail that is really cool ricky is about the integration of the strap or the bracelets this there is no space whatsoever between the case and the strap itself so giving maximum ergonomic pleasure if you like mm -hmm. and uh, at the same time there is a system that is really really easy to operate to interchange straps to play with colors and play with different materials this particular timepiece is equipped with the lw07 which is the caliber that has been right. developed in collaboration with concepto Go and on. is obviously highlighted there and you can see a little uh, arrow as well a little red flash as well can you at six o'clock yeah. Yeah, that's the power reserve as well. So ah. these are just some of the details that are actually making this timepiece really complete. Fantastic. Again, it's a demo piece. Time for a wrist shot. Doesn't feel like I'm actually Very... wearing anything. <laughs> yes. That is super <laughs> lightweight. It reminds me of trying on Richard Mule watches over in Geneva. And obviously this isn't half a million pounds worth, but it sits on the wrist just exactly the same. It doesn't have the, you know, it doesn't feel like plastic where that's very light, obviously, but it's got heft without what you would expect. No, that's excellent. Well, thank you very much, Pietro, for bringing these three watches over for us to see virtually, obviously, because we're all in lockdown. This is still 2021. We thought it'd be better this year. The watches are better. The lifestyle, probably not so much. So if people want to check out these watches on your website and find out more, how can they get in touch with you? The limited edition, we are the platform absolutely passionate about independent watchmaking. We are not dealers. We are official retailers of over 30 brands uh, that we help supporting and developing hands in hands with the, with the brands. When you order from the limited edition, you get a fresh piece directly from the manufacturer, unless it is differently stated. In the rare cases, we do pre-owned uh, or pre-loved, as we as we say. Uh, TheLimitedEdition.co.uk is your website. And on Instagram, you can find us at TheLimitedEdition.uk, where we always try to share interesting contents about the beautiful art of independent watchmaking excellent well thanks a lot pietro and we will catch you again in a video soon thank you very much ricky see you very soon <laughs> <laughs>